The beginning is the most important part of the work. Plato. Thank you for joining me on episode number 16. And the title of this week's episode is Get Started. And as you heard the quote at the top of the show, beginning is the most important part of the work. That quote comes from Plato. One of the things that I really like about this quote is that it implies something that I believe in a lot, and that is momentum. Because once you get started with something, you gain momentum. And momentum, I think, in life is very important. You can have momentum in a positive direction. You can have momentum in a negative direction. Like you hear in sports games all the time, sportscasters will say, it seems like team so-and-so now has all of the momentum. Or they might say the momentum in this game has switched to the other side. And that happens a lot in life, too. We can have that positive momentum or we can have negative momentum. One of the areas in my life where I like to look at this idea of momentum is in the area of being fit. I personally hate to work out. I really do. But I hate being out of shape even more. And that gives me a deeper yes. And I love this quote. I think I've shared this quote on the show before. I'm not totally sure. But the quote is, the only way to say no to six donuts is to have a deeper yes. And that's by Matthew Kelly. So. I hate to work out. I really do. But I hate even more not being in shape because I've been working out since junior high in one form or another, and especially in the area of weightlifting. Now, I'm not a big guy, but I like to stay toned. That's why I like to work out. I like being toned more than I hate working out. So that's why for the last six, seven years or so, I pretty much haven't missed a workout. You know, I like to go three times a week to the gym. And over that period, I've missed a couple workouts here and there. But for the most part, I'm very consistent with that. And there's another word, consistent, that jives with momentum. Consistency and momentum in life is so very important. And also in this area of being fit, and this idea of beginning is the most important part of the work. Like I've shared, as much as I hate going to the gym, I've never had a situation where I've gone to the gym, I've started my workout, and I walked out before I finished my workout. You see what I'm saying? That momentum, that getting started being the most important part of the work. Once you get started, that's where the magic can happen. I really used to hate reading. But over the last three, four years, I've hated not growing and learning more. So that kind of gives me a bigger yes than that no of hating to read. And one of the ways I get around the reading part as well is I like audiobooks. Audible, I think, is a great way to learn. And it fits in with this whole idea of podcasts as well, because podcasts are a great way to learn audio. You can with audio, you can multitask. Now, I have to be careful here because I'm also a critic of multitasking because you really can't do two cognitive things at one time. Either you're doing one or you're doing the other. But podcasting, audiobooks, they allow you to do multiple things at the same time. One thing I want to start doing, and this might be a recommendation to you as well. I think I may have mentioned this before too, but I haven't really started doing it yet. And that is when I'm listening to an audio book or listening to a podcast, one of my goals for the next coming up weeks is to do that and nothing else. Don't have the TV on not necessarily listening to the audible as I'm driving, but 
be in a fixed place sitting with a notepad in my hand and listening to the book or listening to the podcast. That way you can focus in on what's being said and you can get more out of it. That's something I want to do. Maybe that's something you can think about doing as well. So now let's talk a little bit about Plato. Those of you who listen to this show every week, you know that I like to talk a little bit about the person that I'm quoting. And the one exception I think so far that I didn't is when I came and I gave one quote for each day of the week, which is how I anticipated doing this show originally. At least it was one of the ideas I had. I would give you a quote for each day of the week, Monday through Friday, each day of the work week. If you email me, email me about that. If you liked that, if you want me to do that more to not just do one quote for each episode, find the quote that I'm going to focus on, but also give a quote for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you liked that, let me know. Info at my quest for quotes Dot com. I'd love to hear from you. Now, Plato, I uh, found a very interesting article on Plato. It gave a nice, concise introduction to Plato. And there was one little piece in there about Plato that I'd never heard before. Basically, all I knew about Plato and basically most of us who don't really dive into Plato or Socrates or someone like that. We may have known that they are Greek philosophers, but we may not know any other details about them. And I like this little introduction. And it has a little detail in here that I found very interesting. And it's on history.com. I'm going to put a link to it in the show notes for the website. And I'm not sure how most of you listen to the show, but one way you can listen to the show is going to my quest for quotes dot com. You could either type in for F O R or the number four, my quest for quotes dot com. And usually I have show notes there and sometimes I have links. And one thing I'm gonna start doing is whoever I quote that week and we talk a little bit about them, I'll put a link in there where you can go and learn more about the person yourself. So this on history dot com it has a nice little introduction to Plato. The Athenian philosopher Plato lived from 428 B.C. through 347 B.C., is one of the most important figures of the ancient Greek world and the entire history of Western thought. In his written dialogues, he conveyed and expanded on the ideas and techniques of his teacher, Socrates. Now, that's a very important fact right there. He had a teacher, Socrates, or he had a mentor, in Socrates and Socrates also is another Greek philosopher, ancient Greek philosopher. And it brings up a very important concept. And that's the concept of having a mentor. I don't care what it is you're trying to get better in just being better as a person, being better in business, being better at school, being better at work. One great concept is to have a mentor. And typically in the past, when you thought of having a mentor, it's someone that you had to be able to be in front of and sit down with or however you did it. Someone in flesh and blood that was there mentoring you today with technology. And, you know, I always say at the beginning of this show, thank you for joining me at the intersection of quotes, podcasts, technology and media production. Technology is such today that you don't have to sit down with someone face to face and have them mentor you. YouTube, Google, you can find whatever mentor you want in whatever area you want to improve in spiritually, education, business, whatever the case may be. You can find however many mentors that you want. It's one of the great advances that technology has brought to us and specifically through the internet. Mentors are so very important. It's just like this podcast. 
this podcast probably still wouldn't exist if I hadn't decided to spend a little bit of money to buy a video, to buy a program to help me get started. I didn't know anything about WordPress. I have a WordPress site. I didn't know anything about WordPress. Now I know something about WordPress, but I had to find a mentor to help me with that. I had to spend a little money sometimes. Yeah, you can, you can do it for free. Yeah, but it may take you six months when you can spend a little bit of money and it'll cut that learning curve down to say one week, two weeks. You know, it, it just depends on your ability to be able to do that. Or if you have the ability to do that, you may not want to do it. You may want to go the long route, but you know, that's up to you, but it's good to have mentors. If I hadn't found someone to mentor me virtually or online, this podcast still wouldn't be off the ground. Okay. So we see that he had a mentor in Socrates. So we see that he had a mentor in Socrates and the introduction to this article goes on to say the academy he founded was by some accounts, the world's first university. And in it, he trained his greatest student, the equally influential philosopher Aristotle. So it's two things there. So they're, they're trying to try to say that. And I read this in another article that we get the word academics from the academy that he started back then. And so he's kind of like the father of the modern university, some believe. And now we see again this idea of being a mentor. He was mentored by Socrates and then Plato mentored Aristotle. Plato's recurring fascination was the distinction between ideal forms and everyday experience and how it played out both for individuals and for societies. In the Republic, his most famous work, he envisioned a civilization governed not by lowly appetites, but by the pure wisdom of a philosopher king. OK, so that's a little bit about Plato and you can go and find more information about him. I'll have a link in the show notes where you can learn more about Plato. So I would encourage you to get started and gain momentum. Whatever it is that you have been meaning to do, just get started and gain that very important momentum. Remember, quotes don't work unless you do.